Woho! I finally played my first indoor Finnish championships and even did pretty decent. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. It's Monday and yes, I was supposed to be in Turku already. But ta-da! I'm straight into the main draw. Ah, I'm so excited! My first main draw ever in the championships. Can you believe it's been two years I've been waiting for this moment? But hey, this year I'm ready. If this snowstorm doesn't stop me. Crazy! I've never seen anything like this. It's Tuesday and yoohoo! It's sunny! After the last hit with my boyfriend, it's time to pack and leave. We have the long distance bus at 4.15, so we should be in Turku around 6, 6.30. The trip goes smooth, or at least that's what I assume since we arrived there on time. We check in at our apartment and then head straight to the center for dinner. We are starving! Then a quick visit to a supermarket to get some breakfast and snacks for tomorrow and back to the apartment. Time to sleep! It's Wednesday and the alarm clock rings pretty early. Oh yo yo, it's freaking freezing! Lucky for us, the bus arrives right away, so we don't even become ice cubes. Little walk to the club and then time to figure things out. It's still early and plenty of warm up courts, so not only we get one, but we are even free to choose the one we want. And never seen anything like this. We also get warm up balls. Nice! We warm up for about 40 minutes and yes, feeling pretty good. I still have half an hour, so I refill the bottles, check I have a banana and some salt and voila a little goal recap before the match starts the girl i'm playing emma is currently ranked number 36 in finland for reference i've just recently broken into the top 100 and i'm now number 75 i've played her only once two years ago and lost in the third set but seen her play quite recently so i do have a plan to beat her she is very powerful and likes to just smack the ball as hard as she possibly can but She's not particularly good at moving, so that's exactly what I'll try to exploit. Also, if I remember correctly, she's not one who gives up easily, just the opposite. But she does get frustrated quite a lot for very little. So my goal for the match is this. Stay very low with my legs and hit the ball hard even when in defense. Not let her cruise through the points too fast and make her move her butt as early as possible in the points. Lucky for me, my last weekend's opponents had a very similar game, so I should be ready for it. Let's see. The match starts pretty fast for my day and her power and precision are just too much for me. In no time, I find myself down 1-4 and thinking, is it her who's just too good today or it's me who's not doing enough? Of course, I decide to think it's me and in the next few games, I try to react sooner, move my feet faster and be a tiny bit braver. And it works like a charm. She's suddenly in trouble and I manage to turn the score around to 4-5. She's now super frustrated, as expected, but my focus drastically falls as well. So we play two free games so bad i feel sorry for the few spectators who are watching us on 6-5 i find my game again and it's all downhill from there i close the first set 7-5 and cruise through the second 6-0 yay i'm so happy and proud i made it then shower recovery drink and time to cheer up my friends while snacking after half a day of tennis as a spectator, we decide it's enough. So we take the bus and get back to the apartment for some real rest. Little nap, some super needed teragan, and then time for dinner. Sushi again, of course. Food that works, we don't change. Then the usual stop at the supermarket and to bed. It's Thursday and after our smoothie and nuts breakfast, we head to the bus stop once again. If yesterday was freaking cold, today is I don't know what. It has a cherry on the cake, the bus is in 13 minutes. Great! Once at the club, we have a shock. There's not a single free court to warm up. At least I'm not in a hurry today. My match is at 11.30, so before the men start at 10, they'll go get ready. One day, lucky for me, some of them do. So I do finally get to warm up my shots. And yes, feeling pretty good again. Everything's ready, so I can relax and watch some good tennis in peace. Time flies, and it's almost my turn. So I hurry to the bikes to get my legs warm again, do some footwork exercises, and just when I'm recapping my plan for the match, they call me. Let's go kick some. But the girl I'm playing today is another Emma, and she is good. She is seed number five and currently ranked number 17 in Finland. But that's not why I know she's good. The reason I know is because she kicked my butt and served me a sweet double bagel back in March. But today I'm determined, and no, that's not gonna happen. She's one heck of a hitter and can do winners from any position with her forehand. Her backhand is not bad either, but definitely hurts less. So that is where I'm going to aim. 80% of the time. She also has a lot of touch and moves well, so not an easy opponent. The match starts as fast if not faster than yesterday and I find myself down again 1-4 in no time. That forehand is a killer. Oh my goodness! I try my best every single point, but my best is just not good enough to give her trouble. And whoa, I'm doing side to side the whole time. 
time. I do sometimes manage to hurt her with my backhand, but that's pretty much all. She must really love my paws and pace because she's really impeccable. It's incredible how little she misses hitting as flat and hard as she does. No idea how can she do that. The match ends with a straight 6-2-6-2 in little over one hour and even though I'm happy I put on a fight and didn't let her destroy me like last time, I feel a little disappointed by myself. Because yes, I did put all I had, but right towards the end I had my chances to get back into the match and didn't take them. Can you be up 40 love and then lose the game twice? No comment. But hey, there's definitely been a progress since the last matches, so not a bad way to end my 2022 season. Now time for a little rest from tennis and some well-deserved skiing in Italy. And then press season in 2023, we're going to kick some serious butt. Hope you enjoyed this video. If so, smash the like button and subscribe for more tennis life. I'll see you in the next one.